I've been using Midjourney for a while now and getting some amazing visual results from entering prompts into their Discord channel. But lots of people really, really struggle to get set up. So I want to spend the next few minutes giving a really concise guide on how to get started with Midjourney and creating amazing AI generated images that you can use in your own works, books or sell online. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing to say is that Midjourney is a little bit different to ChatGPT, where there's a nice chat interface. Instead, Midjourney uses its AI through Discord. So what you're gonna have to do to begin with is actually download Discord and sign up for an account. You then need to head over to the Midjourney website and join the Midjourney server. Once you've done that, you'll go to the Get Started area, and if you click on that, you'll be given a list of instructions of what to do next. You essentially just need to accept some of their terms and conditions and join a trial, which gives you 25 images for free. And then you can jump into one of the newbie channels. Now, before you actually put in any prompts here, I'd recommend scrolling back up to the top of your newbie channel and just taking a quick look at some of the images and the prompts that other people have used. This is important for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it gives you an idea of exactly what to expect outputs to look like, but also you can still some of the prompt intents from the other users in the channel. If you look back through, you'll often see people using things like certain shaders or different camera types or mimicking types of artists or whatever that you can then use in your prompt. So let's go back down to our prompt and what you can do is you can type forward slash imagine and then the prompt button will come up. And here you can type in all of your prompts separated by commas. So for example, we might say, I want you to create some art in the style of Banksy. I want it to include a riot officer, some balloons and a mouse. And then you can type in some things like 4K or hyper realistic or put two dashes and then version four, which asks Midjourney to use the latest version, which at the time of this video is version four. You can add in lots of other things then from the other users if you want to try and experiment with things. And then as soon as you hit the enter button, you'll be put into a queue. And after you reach the top of the queue, your AI art will return to you. And you can either choose to accept that, re-roll it, or use some of the other Midjourney models to see what those look like. Now there's loads you can do with Midjourney and AI generated art. And do let me know down in the comments below how you get on. Hopefully this super quick and focused video was helpful and I'll catch you again in the next one.